Okay, uh, so let's have a look at the Siebel script and web template editor extension created by the good people at Endo IT, a Hungarian boutique Siebel consultancy. So in the marketplace for VS Code, type in Siebel and you will find the extension and uh, make sure you check out all the uh, resources. There's the GitHub repository uh, with the source code. So it's a real open source extension. Uh, feel free to star it, watch it, fork it, uh, make pull requests. Uh, there's a link to the full documentation. So of course, good, good idea to read that before you get involved. And well, I did read it and uh, so let's give it a try. So hit the install button in VS Code. Uh, it's installed in no time. You will notice by a new icon in the toolbar on the left. And if you click that icon, you open the uh, plugin proper and there's a settings page. Now I've, I've, had, I've had that installed previously. So I have some settings there, which it retrieved from the configuration, but you would have to add these settings in you. Uh, the first is the rest endpoint. So you have a custom name for your connection, can be any name you choose. Then you have to have a valid username and password combination for basic authentication against the REST API. Yes, it uses the Siebel inbound REST API for workspaces. So all you need is, of course, an active REST API that works and a REST endpoint, the usual Siebel slash v1.0. Then you need to have at least one workspace which is editable. So you enter the name of your custom connection and then you have a comma separated list of developer workspaces that you want to use with the extension. So those developer workspaces, you need to create the natural way in the Workspace Explorer or the Workspace Dashboard. So here I have them uh, as children of an integration workspace. So one is just created and one I'm already used for some testing. So with these workspaces in place, uh, hit the reload button. So it reloads the extension and it gives you feedback on the connection if anything goes wrong. And if the connection is okay, you can now select the workspace you want to work with. And you can select business service, business component, applet, application for service scripts and web templates. So that's also new in the latest version. Now there's a search box. So after choosing the object type, you start typing in the search box. So it uh, narrows the list. So let's pick a really big, ugly e-script um, business service there. Uh, once you click it, you can select to retrieve the methods or the methods with code. So this now loads all the methods and all the code, all the service script entries for that business service. Uh, selecting one, still you have to confirm to pull that from the repository and now you're in the very e-script. Um, there might be some errors so here that include well it validates uh, with uh, let's say JavaScript saves them as JavaScript files so VS Code is maybe over eager here so let's add some code so let's add a variable okay and well, you do your thing here, uh, but of course it's uh, endo IT. So they gone the extra mile with, uh, for example, including um, snippets. So you can do, uh, you can use the Siebel object interfaces. So typing D and you have the application. Cool, uh, type a dot and start with get. So you can easily make it get service then add the business service of your choice or whatever you want to do really. So that should just work out right. If not, give them a ring. So let's add a comment here so we can 
check out that code when it arrives in the repository. So it's now a local file you have in your VS Code folder. And here's the button to push the uh, script to Siebel. Uh, do you want to override? Yes. And, oh, first let's uh, save the file again. Let's try one more time. Okay, there's the successful update message. Sorry, forgot to save. And now let's check if it's right, if it's really in the repository. So that's the uh, workspace that I worked in. So I'm opening that in Web Tools. So let's try the change flag, but I'm quite afraid it does not work because there was no change on the root level. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. So let's find the service. Just confirm my fears here. Um, the business service, there it is. And we can go to edit service scripts and open the method. And there's the modifications right in there. Of course they are. So as if you would have edited in web tools or Siebel tools. Um, syntax check. Well, it's about that include, which is okay. Syntax check only uh, is available currently in web tools, apparently. So good idea to hit that button before you deliver, which you also have to do in web tools or Siebel tools. And web templates, let's try, let's find a uh, juicy uh, web template. Let's say list, the edit list should have some nested template that is just right. Well, let's go for that CC list header. I guess that's a good example as any. So I want to edit that not here, but in, in the comfort of Visual Studio Code. So with the plugin, I can select web template as the object type and start searching. So uh, the search uses the first letters. So list doesn't get us anywhere. CC list that gets us somewhere. Okay, so that's the web template and you have to confirm and there's the code all right so let's modify it just a tiny little bit just let's add a comment or something uh, but it's html code so visual studio code does all the html tricks on it so here's my comment save the file and push it to the workspace and confirm that and successful. So let, let's confirm in web tools. Of course we do. There it is. And I can see the comment already here, line seven. How cool is that? Thanks Endo IT, uh, thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.